Do you know about this nifty way of remembering the trigonometric values of the common angles 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90? They are just the square root of 0 fourths, 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 4 fourths in that order. But once you put it in this way, there is an immediate question. We know the sign of pi over 2, pi over 3, pi over 4, pi over 6. So what's the value of sine of pi over 5? In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the sine of pi over 10 and then use the double angle formula to find the sine of pi over 5. These are the trigonometric formulas we're going to use, the Pythagorean theorem, the double angle formula, and the sine of the complementary angle or the co-function formula. The complementary angle of pi over 10 is 2 pi over 5. Then the cosine of pi over 10 by the co-function formula will be the sine of 2 pi over 5. By the double angle formulas, it will be 2 sine of pi over 5 times cosine of pi over 5. And if we use the double angle formulas again, what I get is 4 sine of pi over 10 times cosine of pi over 10 times 1 minus 2 times sine squared of pi over 10. Now, if you look at the first line and the last line, there is a factor of cosine of pi over 10 on both sides of the equation, and cosine of pi over 10 is non-zero, so I can cancel it out on both sides. What I get then is 1 is equal to 4 sine pi over 10 times 1 minus 2 times sine squared of pi over 10, and if I put x is equal to sine of pi over 10, that equation reads 1 is equal to 4x times 1 minus 2x squared. And if we bring everything to the left-hand side, that is 8x cubed minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. And now this is a cubic equation, which are typically hard to solve. But we are lucky, and that cubic polynomial factors into two factors. Now, one of the two has to be 0. If 2x minus 1 was 0, x would be a half, which is the sine of pi over 6. But the sine of pi over 10 has to be smaller than the sine of pi over 6, because the sine function is increasing between 0 and pi over 2. So it cannot be that the sine of pi over 10 is already a half. So sine of pi over 10 has to satisfy the other quadratic equation. And by the quadratic formula, what we get is that x is minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 4. And now we have to decide if it's the plus or the minus. But again, by the properties of sine of x, the sine of pi over 10 has to be positive which leads me to sine of pi over 10 is square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 4. And by the double angle formulas, the sine of pi over 5 will be the square root of 10 minus 2 times the square root of 5 divided by 4, which, as you can see, it doesn't fit that pattern we saw at the beginning for the common angle formulas at all. 